Raymax, working for the future. In the Netherlands, Raymax owns one of the biggest plants in Europe for the processing of incinerator bottom ash stemming from energy from waste plants. On an area of about 45 hectares, the company's subsidiary, Heros, is responsible for the operation of the facility. Incinerator bottom ash, or IBA, is first treated in the main processing unit, where minerals are separated from metals and organic impurities before entering an extended installation which includes, among other technical processes, numerous additional eddy current separators and screening processes. The remaining ash forms the base material for the additional hydromechanical treatment. Washing incinerator bottom ash mainly serves to improve the environmental characteristics of IBA. The plant that we see here at the Heros location has been especially designed to fulfill the requirements of the Dutch Green Deal it is optimized to meet the mineral specifications of the Dutch market and focuses on the production of hydro-cleaned bottom ash of the fraction size 0 to 14 mm. The washing of IBA at the Slauskill plant consists of a two-step process with the aim to produce a purified material in the form of sustainable secondary aggregates. An added benefit of the process is the additional recovery of valuable heavy metals. At the center of the hydromechanical technology are two washing drums, arranged in sequence. The incinerator bottom ash is cleaned with water intensively in these large drums, releasing sludge and organic material from the sand and gravel fraction. The sludge is later landfilled, and the organic matter returned to the incineration plant. After leaving the washing drum, the coarse material bigger than 2 mm is separated from the sand using sieving technology. The fractions are sprayed with water via various drainage screens to remove as many contaminants as possible. Following this, the fraction smaller 0.063 mm is separated from the sand by means of a cyclone. The remaining sludge is passed on to the sedimentation tank for further treatment and water recycling. It is later disposed of as sludge cake. The screened and washed material sized 2 to 14 mm is also being drained. Together with the fine ash fraction, the material is then stored before it is ready for the second hydromechanical treatment process. After leaving the second washing drum and screening process, the material sized 2 to 14 mm is passed on to an extra technology called JIG. The coarse IBA, which still contains valuable heavy non-ferrous metals, is swilled around in water by a pulsating water flow. The metals sink faster than the ash and collect at the bottom of the JIG, from which they are discharged through an adjustable weir. The remaining mineral fraction is passed on to the mixing drum. Here it is merged in a fixed ratio with the grain size of up to 2 mm. The final result is hydro cleaned IBA granulate 0 to 14 mm. Water required in the operation of the plant is collected at all stages during the process. It passes through several water clarification installations including a sedimentation tank with flocculant as clarifying agent. After physical and chemical treatment, the cleansed water is returned to the production process, thus reducing fresh water consumption to a minimum. The metals recovered during the washing process include copper, zinc, lead, stainless steel, and small amounts of gold and silver, valuable non-ferrous metals which are sold to smelting and metal processing companies. Using recycled metals, such as these in metal production, means a lower carbon footprint, reducing the emission of greenhouse gases in metal production. As for the final minerals, the washed material quality enables the full reuse of incinerator bottom ash in high-end applications. Our group of companies markets these aggregates under the brand name Granova. 
A strict quality control process makes sure that all required environmental and structural standards are met. The main applications for IBA with hydro-cleaned qualities are road construction, earthworks, asphalt production and concrete products. As part of ongoing research projects, the use of IBA in applications such as bricks, ceramics or cement is under development.